<laughs> I would like to apologize. You say, to whom and for what? And I say, like Marlon Brando in The Wild One, what do you got? You see, I am a white, cisgendered, straight, middle-class, middle-aged Englishman. There isn't a group of people on this planet that my people haven't pissed on at some point in our history. Even saying the word, my people, can cause a frisson through some societies. My people get together. The monthly meetings of the white, cisgendered, straight, middle-class, middle-aged Englishman society is almost always full. And very, very dull. Between you and me, our annual Christmas disco is an atrocity that no one should have to see. People often say to me, but Dave! What have you got to apologise for? You're one of the good guys. You are a left-leaning, liberally-minded, socio-politically aware feminist. Or in other words, a twat. <laughs> they often call me that. Then they go on to some long-winded explanation that usually includes the words, the times were different then, or the sins of the fathers, or more recently, not all men. Newton once said, if I see further, it's because I stand on the shoulders of giants. And I do on the shoulders of giants. I also stand on the blooded, whipped shoulders of African men, women and children, ripped from their homes and forced to work and die for my prosperity. I stand on the broken skulls of Indian families, corralled into their own town square and shot for daring to protest at our colonialism. I stand on the broken backs of proud Muslim people, whose main crime was to worship a different God who happened to live in the same holy land as mine. I stand on the empty stomachs of Irish families, whose food went to feed my forefathers. I stand on the scattered graves of countless Aboriginal people, cleared from their land so that my people can have a new place to stand. I stand on this mound of bones and their tears sprinkle me like dew, so yeah. I think a simple I am sorry is quite literally the least we can do. Because then we must make amends. Bend down and help someone whose face has been pushed into the mud to rise. Let them ride on our shoulders for a time. Or just get our fat asses out of their way, close our mouths and listen to what they're trying to say. But all that's for another day. Right here, right now, I just want to be able to look you in the eyes and say this. I would like to apologise. Thank you.